This bony protuberance or revulsion of the tubal tuberosity is known as Osgood slaughter disease. Hello, my name is Dane Johnson and today I will be talking to you about a supplement known as Oscon. As you can see in my knee, I have Osgood slaughter disease and I actually took this supplement because my symptoms were so severe. At the age of 10, I went through a growth spurt where I grew an inch a month for a span of a few months. During this time, I developed Osgood slaughter disease in both knees while competitively playing club soccer, basketball, and running track. My knee pain was so severe that I would wake up in the morning and be unable to bend my knees. The pain would persist throughout the day as I attempted to run, jump, kick, and do all the other things a 10-year-old kid does while playing sports. Things would often come into contact with my knee, such as an opponent's knee, a ball, or even the ground. The ensuing pain was so excruciating that it often resulted in tears streaming down my face. We attempted a number of different treatments to ease this pain, such as stretching, icing, physical therapy, and braces, but the pain persisted. My parents discovered the supplement online known as Ozcon and decided to give it a try after doing some research on it. While my symptoms did not completely go away after taking Ozcon, they significantly diminished and I was able to continue playing the sports I loved. Due to its effectiveness in my case, I was excited to examine the existing research of this supplement. First, I'll give a little research on what Osgood slaughter disease is. As with me, Osgood slaughter disease commonly occurs in adolescent athletes undergoing a growth spurt. Symptoms of the disease are anterior knee pain and inflammation of the tubal tuberosity. It is caused by physical activity and bone growth. Simply put, the bone grows faster than the muscle, which puts excessive stress on the quadriceps muscles. This stress pulls on the patellar tendon, resulting in an avulsion of the tendon from its point of insertion on the tibial tuberosity. To bridge this gap and prevent complete detachment, bone growth takes place to close this separation. This leads to the protuberance of the tibial tuberosity, a prominent characteristic of Osgood slaughter, as I showed in my knee. The painful symptoms often require young athletes to reduce their physical activity and sometimes even quit playing sports altogether. But what if I were to tell you there exists a supplement that can reduce the pain and inflammation of Osgood slaughter disease so that young athletes' participation in sports is ineffective? Unaffected. Well, the miracle pill exists and is known as Oscon. The manufacturer of Oscon, Pediatric Sports Therapy, has developed a specifically balanced formula of organically bound and clinically tested selenium contained within the cells of brewer's yeasts, Saccharomyces cerevisiae and RRR alpha tocopherol, the most biologically active form of the vitamin E complex. Vitamin E and selenium within Oscon act as antioxidants to combat the effects of oxidative stress and damage caused by free radicals. A study conducted at the University of Essex discovered that exercise actually increases lipid peroxidation, resulting in a greater produ production of free radicals that lead to oxidative stress. The stress put on the young athletes' bodies by free radicals produced during exercise, as well as the effects of growth spurts, accentuates the symptoms of Osgood slaughter disease. It is with this knowledge that Oscon was developed as a supplement to treat the disease. Studies have yet to be conducted specifically on Oscon, but other studies have examined the antioxidant properties of vitamin E and selenium. In 1996, Connor and Grisham concluded that vitamin E supplement scavenges free radicals and inhibits the activation of nuclear transcription factor, which is involved in inflammatory responses. This su supports OSCON in minimizing cellular injury and inflammatory responses at the tibial tuberosity. Another study concluded that selenium supplementation induces the activity of cytoplasmic glutathione peroxidase phospholipid hydroperoxide glutathione peroxidase, and thyroredoxin reductase, which all protect the body cells from oxidative damage. Similar results were seen in a study on horses, who received supplementation of both vitamin E and selenium. The combined supplementation revealed a significant increase in antioxidant defenses to provide protection from oxidative stress by decreasing peroxidase activity. These studies on vitamin E and selenium supplementation, both individually and combined, support the claims and science behind Oscon. Thousands of customer testimonials explain the beneficial effects of Oscon supplementation. 
Some users claim to have experienced a reduction in pain and inflammation in as few as one to five days. Further research needs to be conducted specifically on Oscon in order to determine its effectiveness as a supplement treatment of Oscar slaughter disease. There have been no reported side effects when taken as directed. So if you or someone you know is suffering from Oscar slaughter disease, feel free to check out Oscon. I know it worked for me as a young athlete, and I hope the same is true for you. Thank you for watching.